Welcome to YouTube by DJ SPRC. I want to say thank you to Great Hobbies for letting me do this. If you're looking for uh, the great, whoa. Yeah, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to stay this way. <laughs> if you're looking for any hobby needs in, in Canada, take a look at greathobbies.com for all your great hobby needs. Today, I, I just wanted to say something. For all you guys that are looking for a drag slash or uh, even the uh, anything that's drag related, uh, basically in the one tenth size, you have the C10 uh, from Traxxas and you have the 68 Ford F100 from Lucy. Uh, finally, Traxxas came out with something else uh, that could change the game. For all you older guys uh, in the 1990s, uh, even 80s, and e even early 2000s, uh, next machine I'm going to show here, you're going to recognize it is a machine when I was young, was pretty much dominating uh, the roads uh, to a certain point. And that would be the Mustang 5 liter uh, the GT series finally tracks the size to bring it out. I know I do have a lot of friends who will go bananas on this car because they all owned some when they were young. And I'm not saying I'm old, but yeah, it shows my age. Um, but yes, if you are looking for something completely different, and uh, yes, this would be your your niche. The Mustang 5 liter drag slash heavy duty Pro Series Magnum 272R transmission. Uh, it has the Traxxas drag brake launch control, Traxxas stability, and the ultra ultra wide Mickey Thompson tires on it. It's pretty much the same thing as the 67 Chevrolet C10 underneath. But body-wise, uh, it's game-changer for me. Now, I know you guys know my longtime subscribers. Yes, I am a Ford guy. But unfortunately, I've never been a fan of the Mustang. Uh, I'm more a pickup truck guy. But I'm not going to say it's not nice. It is nice looking. They did a good job replicating it. Replicate it. Woohoo! Can't even say that word either. Make it look like realistic, should I say. Okay, for some of you guys that don't know what the underneath looks like, let's take the body off and take a look. It does have the wing in the back. This is a vehicle probably on Street Adla, Chuck Seisinger would love to have. Because he does have a Mustang, a couple now. And the original Mustang that he has, it was actually Murder Novas. Some of you guys don't know that. Yeah, Sean Ellington used to own that Mustang, sold it to Chuck. And Chuck has it since. But yes, you do have, it's a two-wheel drive slash with big fat tires, heavier duty drive shafts on it compared to the stock slash two-wheel drive. It does have the 2075 servo. Plastic gears, that's something that if you do buy this, I would change to a steel gear or even to an OMG servo, even a Power HD, something that would be faster. Uh, you do still have the VXL3S with the VXL3500 KV motor. But I do applause Traxxas for doing this. Uh, they're getting uh, on, uh, something new on the market, but they should have maybe changed the platform. Don't get me wrong, Traxxas, but sometimes getting out of your niche would be great instead of recycling. I do understand having multiple parts availability for it. it it's, it's yes. Uh, it does have a wheelie bar. It's just not on it right now. You can add it. That's... 10 feet long, comes with a remote. The only thing you will need is a battery and charger. But if you guys have any questions or comments, post it below. I'd be gladly to answer you guys. 
And don't forget to hit that like button. I do appreciate it a lot. It does help the channel. And don't forget to subscribe. And check out greathobbies.com.